Welcome to this Google Apps screencast where we're going to show how to share collections and files within those collections to students. This is a handy tip to be able to easily share files to your class of students. So here I am in my teacher Google Docs account. I'm going to start by first creating a collection. So I'm going to go to create collection. I'm going to name this with my name in it. So I'm going to call it Kafka New Media Files. So teacher name, class, files. This way when it shows up in the student's account, they'll know that it's a folder that I have shared to them. I hit OK. So the file appears in my collections area. The next step is to share that file to your students. So I'm going to click on the options arrow for that folder and go to share. It takes me into the share window. So under the add people, this is where I'm going to add my students' names. Now, prior to this, it's highly suggested that you make a contact group for each of your classes. And there's another video I've created that shows you how to do that. So I've done this prior. I made a contact group for my new media class. So when I get here, I'm going to go to choose from contacts. Up at the top, there's a drop down window. So I'm going to choose from the different contact groups I have here. So I'm going to choose my new media class. Notice all the student names appear. To actually check them, to add them down here in the two box, I have to click Select All. Notice that brings all of their Google account addresses down into this bottom area. And then I can click Done. So all of the students in that class have now been added. If you have four or five classes you teach and you want to add all four or five classes or however many classes onto this, you can go back in to choose from Contacts. You can choose your next class and continue adding those, uh, so on and so forth. Okay, so students are added. Oh, I think I accidentally just took them out. Let's re-add those again real quick. New media, check all, done. I want to give them view rights, so I'm going to make sure that they can only view these files. I don't want them to have edit rights because that means that they could change the files and that would not be good. I'm going to uncheck notify by email and hit share and save and click OK. So now there's all the students' names and they all have view rights. Okay, so I'm going to hit done. Notice that the folder changes. It's got a little person on it that just signals that that file, or that, I'm sorry, that collection is now shared to someone else or some other people. So that's the first step is making the collection. Now, when you put things in there, they will automatically share to the students. So I'm going to go to my personal new media folder where I keep files for my new media class and files that I want my students to be able to see. This is our agenda slides for class. Uh, this is a a template of a script that I want them to follow and, and create from. So I'm going to check box these two files. Now notice I'm checkboxing them and I'm not dragging and dropping files to that folder. The reason I'm checkboxing them is because it's a lot easier then to go up to this organize button and check off where I want those files that I just checked to appear. So I'm going to checkbox now the Kafka New Media files. And one of the nice things in Google Docs is when you use the checkboxes, you can make files appear in more than one place. So for me, my files are kept in my New Media folder. And for the students, they'll be also appear they will also appear in this Kafka New Media files folder, but the students again will only be able to view those files. They won't be able to edit them. So it just it's nice to be able to see things in more than one place if you need that. I'm going to click apply changes. So now if I go to the Kafka New Media Files folder, anything that's in here is what the students will be able to see. So these files are what the students will be able to see. Let's illustrate that. Let's hop over to a student account where I'm already logged in. This is my fake student account for demo purposes. So notice here at the top of the student's home area, there's the folder, there's the files that I just shared to those students. Some things to point out to students, some good tips. Any collections that are shared to you from someone else appear under the collection shared with me over here on the side. Now, if teachers are sharing a lot of files to students and students don't want to see those files, as you see files that come to you that you maybe don't need to see, you can checkbox them, go up to More, and choose Don't Show in Home. That just makes it so when you're in your home area, you won't see those files, but if you need to get to them, they're here under the collection shared with me. So there's the files that were shared. And if I open one of these files, notice it's only viewable to the students. They don't have any edit tools up here to be able to change this. They, can, they can't type in here, change in here. 
Uh, what the students can do, however, if, if this is a template I want them to start working from, they can go to File, Make a Copy, and this will make a copy of that file that the student now does have the edit features for. So they could rename the document as their own, maybe first hour, uh, this is Smith, and this is script. So now the student can work on this and then put that in the turn in folder to turn into the teacher. So a few steps there, but that is the process for being able to share files to students just by dropping things, I'm sorry, by checkboxing them and putting them into a folder, it automatically